Naira Scarcity, Kaduna residents cooperate with petrol stations drivers for cash. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Due to the scarcity of Naira notes across Nigeria, Kaduna State residents have resorted to petrol stations and commercial drivers for assistance. According to the news agency of Nigeria, people are seeking cash to meet their urgent needs since most bank ATMs in the city have run out of cash and POS operators have shut down for the same reason. As a result, individuals are flocking to four stations that accept cash payment for four purchases rather than electronic transfers. Reports revealed that individuals in need of cash are reaching an agreement with four buyers. They pay for the fall electronically and receive cash in exchange from the buyer. People who were interviewed at one of the filling stations said that this arrangement provided relief to many individuals who had been experiencing severe hardships. I got wind of this arrangement today and went to a petrol station dispensing fuel, talked to a commercial bus driver and he accepted to help me. We agreed that I should pay 7000 through the station's POS being the cost of his fall which I did. When it was installed to be dispensed of the fall, I presented the 7,000 euro slip and in return, collected the cash from him in return. It was a big relief to me as I had no cash on me. The major challenge is that it is not everything that can be purchased through electronic transfer of money. There are some needs that can only be satisfied using liquid cash, as said Adamo Sela in residence. Now, first of all, uh, that God will bless those people who come up with that idea. I've told the people, okay, I didn't tell you my ordeal. <laughs> this particular period will turn some people to waiting and they call beggar. They will call them corporate beggar or professional beggars. You will turn people to babiada. It is not funny. I'm telling you. Because you have money in your bank account. And you cannot pay. It's really enter a bus and maybe the, a drop is for 200 or 100 or 150. And you're making a transfer. It doesn't make sense. With the pepper seller, you go to buy 100 or 200 or 300 naira pepper, or even 400 or 500. Does she have a bank account? No. So, see, eh, I think I said it before the only issue I have with this um, redesigning of the currency and the monetary policy is that you said you want to be giving us 20,000 20, a day, right? Or busy 30,000. No problem. But make this money available. At least, we know that, okay, if I go to eat at a restaurant, I don't give them cash, I do transfer. If I go to places where they collect transfer, they collect transfer. And this should be the time the banking industry will sit up. They're going to sit up. In the terms of sitting up, I mean, we are currently having issues of money, miss, missing money. You see somebody, I think, was it not January, the first week of January, what began the year, I saw that particular video of a lady crying that she lost 4 million naira, that it just disappeared, film out of account, you know, and the bank was telling her that they were not going to be able to trace it. I, mean, how, how, I don't even know how, but they have to they have to assure us first of all. Most especially people who do not have bank, they have this issue of if I put my money for bank, it will lose. They have that fear. Now you have to first of all assure those people and then work on more people in so that, you know, you can give the paper seller her, her hard cash, the currency, and then places you need to do the transfer, you pay via transfer or via POS. You do that and everybody will be happy. Okay, use Aerofy old, old Naira notes and deposit your money to the central bank of uh, Aerofy. Terrible drugs, uh -huh. why are people like this? I thought the governor asked them to hold old Naira notes. Uh -uh, he cannot now. They cannot use because the bank does not even take order from Aerofy. They take orders from the CBN. And CBN don't talk, say the old Naira note is not a legal tender anymore. Alright, so this notes we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And so I'll call me away next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.